Hi, this is Emmy from Mini Lotter, and today I want to show you something. Follow me. So this is my dwarf army. You notice in the back there, I have place for the dwarf rangers I'm painting. But as you can see, Iron Hills called re-released. And I have one opening left. I want to show you how I painted these bad boys. So I'm gonna show you how I painted these bad boys. Personally I love the way they look and they're a great addition to my little dwarf collection and I still have a lot of work to do on them. So let's get started. Today I'm gonna show you how to paint an Iron Hill warrior like this. First off, I started with basing him and give him an Iron Breaker base coat after I sprayed him with Chaos Black. I did Chaos Black because there is no Iron Breaker spray paint and I'm not in the mood for testing spray paints from other brands to see which one is closest. And I didn't want it to be a very dull metal at the beginning. So let's start with some Cadian Flash though. As you can definitely not see in this clip, I tried my best. I start painting his face. I also don't do sub-assembly because I want to see my dwarves all together already. Next up, very simple, Rhinox hide. Pretty much everywhere there is any clot. Like the edges of the chainmail the back of his legs, that kind of stuff. Now we can start his beard with some XV88. You can use any hair color you want, I just decided XV88 would be the color of this specific dwarf. And don't forget the hair on his back as well, and damn these models have so much detail. Tumble brown next on his gloves. Just to give it a little bit of separation, so you don't have to use a Rhinox hide for everything, make it a little bit more special. Corvus Black for the spear shaft and the handle of his sword, and also the part he is gripping onto on his shield. I use Corvus Black because I use Morphine Brown for nearly everything wooden in my other painting scheme, so I wanted to do something different. Because these awesome dwarves deserve it. Fucking love Iron Hills. Liberator Gold, specially bought for this army. And it's pretty easy to spot where you should paint it, everywhere there are ridges, like his shoulder plates on his shins and everything, it's gonna be obvious when you are holding the model. And I think Liberator Gold goes amazing with it, especially after a nice layer of Null Oil, which is coming up next. No, no, really makes the model come to life already, and we're still not even finished yet.
because after the null oil we're gonna start with some Reichlin flash heat, just a little bit on the face, nothing much. Agrax search heat on the belt, his hair is scabbard as well. Everything you painted in Rhinoxide or XV88 or Doombull Brown give the little Agrax Earth Shade pad. Now an intermission to look at some awesome dwarfs to see what we are doing all this work for. It isn't even a lot of work. After we've applied no more, you can really see the details in the shield and we're gonna draw more attention to it with some blood angels red. And that's the final step. Just make sure you don't mess it up on the detail on the shield. If you do some lead belt you will be great for touching it up. I had to do it with a couple of doors, thankfully not too many. And once you've done that can go to the next one or if you're batch painting you're already done and you can see the awesome results and enjoy your beautiful Iron Hills army or the start of it in my case so these are some pictures of my Iron Hills fully completed the banner was a pain to paint, but also amazing to paint. It has a lot of beautiful detail. I highly recommend it. It's an awesome kit. I love dwarves, and I especially love Iron Hills. They're expensive, but they're definitely worth it. If you enjoyed this video, please like and subscribe. I'm trying to upload at least once every two weeks. Uh, but I'm planning some more bigger and special um, some bigger videos, some more time consuming videos, so like and subscribe, see you in the next one, bye! might also see some more Urukai, that's the Rohan I have already painted, it's a lot of minis. <coughs> yeah, now I have to make this into a watchable video. I love the way they look. <clears throat> so today I want to show you my Iron Hill Dwarfs, together with all my other Dwarfs. I still have a lot of Rangers I need to paint, that's gonna be a future video as well. Gandalf, for Gandalf reasons. <laughs> <laughs>